my god okay <laughs> i'm finally home finally get talking a normal volume of voice um have you ever been on a plane for three hours having just had the best celebrity sighting of your life with no internet okay so there is a family event this weekend so we and we live in new york and we were flying home to my hometown where we are right now of clearwater florida and our flight was at out of jfk just a weird time like not in the morning not in the afternoon it was the weirdest time in the world which is 11 a.m everyone knows that's the weirdest time in the world and jfk is going through a lot of construction so it was just like the terminal is just so weird it's a weird time no one was there like it was completely dead and i hadn't eaten yet because 11 a.m is the weirdest time in the world so i thought okay we're, we're through security like i gotta eat now now so we literally step that make that first step out of the security like as soon as you grab your stuff put on your jackets and stuff and you're like all right like where's our gate where do we eat as soon as we are at that step zach and i like collect our phones and like look for some like just look at our phones to see like what time it is and stuff and I'm like looking at my phone and Zach says in the softest voice he goes Callie do you see who that is and and my toxic trait is that whenever someone says that to me I just assume it's an ex-boyfriend of mine (laughs) I'm like, oh, great, which ex is here, okay which guy that I used to hook up with is here, oh, great And I look up and I see this, like, I'm going to say it, gorgeous specimen of a man. And I'm like, okay, I definitely do not know this person. And then, you know what gives it away, because everyone's wearing masks, the hair. I see his Hoover High Alabama curls, and I see his eyes, and I go, and he's just by himself. And he's just looking at his phone, exactly what we were doing, looking at his phone, collecting his stuff, seeing where his gate is. And he's by himself. And I'm like, am I hallucinating? like I was like oh my god like I literally like I run this account I make the videos it's like I spend so much time of my life thinking about this person I was like am I hallucinating this person and usually like brag living in LA like when you see some sort of celebrity it's kind of like etiquette to just not talk to them and just like let them go about their day but I mean like I'm literally like trashler and this is the bachelor like I was like I literally didn't even have time to process what was happening. And then I heard myself go, Clayton? Because it was just like, I didn't want to make a scene, but I had to talk to him. So I was just like, I said his name as softly as I could without, like, I knew he would hear me, but I like didn't yell. I was like, Clayton? Because he was pretty close to me too. And he looks up and I can't imagine what that's like to look up and see someone that you don't know. (laughs) Who's like, he doesn't know. He doesn't know who I am but he was like he just walked over and I knew I had to like open with this immediately I was like listen I do recaps of your show this is like the highlight of my life this is the funniest shit ever and he was just so chill like I know everyone hates how much I love him but you guys like this solidified it and I was like I do recaps of your show like this is seriously like the highlight of my life and he goes well I hope I hope they're good recaps I hope you're like saying good stuff and I was like and like me and Zach both laughed like we were like don't worry about it like we both just chuckled and he laughed too and then I was like I hate asking but like I gotta get a picture with you because so many people are gonna freak out at this and he was like yeah sure we get a picture and he's like do you want to do one without masks and I was like yeah (laughs) if Clayton Etchard gives me COVID it's a job well done so god bless my boyfriend he takes pictures of us with masks without masks and i wasn't even on my good side but i was like i i need to just like just take this picture nothing else matters except this picture oh my god and he was just so nice and then i also like celebrity etiquette i was like i'm gonna make this interaction as short as possible and like not ask him any questions and then he was like oh so where are you guys flying and i was like oh florida and then he says which part of florida aka claremont where rachel's from he just said which part of florida and i go oh i'm visiting family in tampa i was like what about you and he's like um like i'm visiting a friend from high school and i was like and then finally i got a joke in i was like 
oh, so you're not flying to like Pocosa, Virginia or Denver, Colorado. And he, you guys, a hearty laugh. That was basically the highlight of my life. I was like, oh, so you're not flying to any of the hometowns. You know, I got to ask where you're going. And he laughed and he goes, hey, hey, I'm too trained. I'm too trained to answer that. I'm way, way too trained to fall for that. Okay. And he just like, he has such a calm demeanor. Like it was very just like, okay, like so chill. Like chill is really the only word. Like he was just like, I'm too trained to answer that. But we both like laughed and I was like, all right, well, listen, Clayton, like it was so nice meeting you. Like, thank you so much for taking a picture with me and like have a good flight. And like we went our separate ways. And like I was definitely the one who like ended the interaction. Like I feel like I could have like got another question in there, but I was honestly like, Oh my god, my brain was mush. And then after, of course, Zach and I were like, we should have said something like, wow, I can't believe I'm getting one-on-one time or something like that. But the most important thing, so I was like, Zach, how did you notice him? Zach, and this is not a brag, he is six three and a half. okay? I have a very tall, tall man in my life. He automatically notices, like, other tall people. You guys, Clayton is taller than him, okay? Clayton is six five and let me tell you when you see that in person like I don't know how else to say it he's a presence like he is a presence like even if like at first when I didn't recognize him I was like oh my god this guy is hot who is this guy so yeah that's the story of how I met Clayton a week before the finale like the fact that it's like he is the current bachelor like I could have ran into someone crazy like I don't know, the bar mitzvah dancer or something. But it's like of all people, I ran into him and like he was by himself and like there was no one at the airport and neither of us were in a rush. It was just like all the stars aligned. It was so crazy. And then, of course, I had to sit on a three hour flight with no Internet. (laughs) 